Hi guys, so we're starting off with the Burano 3-in-1. It is a base coat, a nail glue, and a slip solution. I have been obsessed with this stuff, you guys. I have not stopped using it. I have been seeing Burano's comments and literally people are all in love with it and they have been harassing them to make it a like standalone product that you can buy. And I really hope they do because it's amazing. Now today I'm not showing you guys how I prep my nails just because I wanted this to be a really quick set, something super easy and simple. I didn't plan on keeping these nails on for long, but you guys, even though I didn't prep my nails, they are still lasting. Like I am so surprised. So this, these are the nails that I'm gonna be using today. These are full cover nail tips from E-Nail Couture. These are the honey peach almond shaped nails. And I wanted to try these out because they come pre-colored. If you guys know, Enel Couture has been a little bit crazy with the shipping lately. So I actually had my sister order these and she actually gave them to me about a month ago. And I just am now finally getting the chance to play around with them. And I really like them. They are really nice. My only complaint is I wish the honey peach color was more opaque and not so sheer. On me, these look very natural, like a very natural color, and I don't know. I just wanted them to be a little bit more opaque because, yeah, I wanted to wear these without any polish, but it's just a little too nude. It's a little too light for me, so you guys will see what I do when I decide to polish them. As you guys will notice, I am not going to cut these nails down today. Um, I would wanna, The length is actually not too bad on me. It's a really nice length and honestly the nails do look really pretty. It's just that I wanted a little bit more... Mm. So currently I'm just going to go ahead and file the shine off of these nails. I did also kind of round the tips a little bit just because even though they're not stilettos, they do kind of have that very pointiness to them. And I have a two year old and I'm really not trying to be stabbing her with my nails. Like, I don't know, I need to kind of soften that edge just a little bit. But how have you guys been? I have totally missed filming videos this past week. I've been kind of lackadaisy. Like I filmed my story time video and honestly, if you guys have not watched that video, you need to go watch it. It's so funny. Like the thing about story times is that when you film them, you're like, oh, I think it's funny, but will anybody else think it's funny? And so far, all my friends that have watched it have literally been like, girl, this is hilarious. Like I'm actually laughing out loud. So if you guys have not seen that video, definitely check it out. I know it's not nail content, but it is really funny. You guys see how sharp those are like these are really pretty nails like they're almost like perfect <laughs> the only gripe that i have with these is that they are a little bendy i know it's taboo to say that with e nail couture but they are a little bendy on me i think if you really loaded them up with a lot of builder gel they would be a little bit more um hard i feel like so after I filed them, you guys will see I'm taking that Burano 3-in-1. As you can see, I've already used it twice. This is my third time using it on this set already. And I'm just putting down a layer of this because I will be painting my nails today. Like, you have never seen me paint my nails on my channel because I do not like painting my nails. <laughs> Fun fact about me, I know I'm trying to be a partial nail tuber, but I hate polishing my nails. I just don't enjoy it, but... This green from Beatles was beautiful. Like, I have been waiting to use this color on a set and I'm so glad I used it for this one because I don't know about you, like I love the oranges and reds and golds for fall, but like, why do we keep forgetting about the green? Like, come on, olive green, hunter green, dark greens. Like, why is nobody posting any fall nail videos with greens? Like, shoot, I'm gonna do it. If y'all not gonna do it, I'm gonna do it because I love me a green nail polish.
and you guys i think i hate polishing my nails so much just because you have to be so precise and so meticulous and y'all i really tried to get this set perfect with me going in with a little bit of like alcohol and trying to make sure i didn't flood my cuticles you know like people who polish nails all day every day i commend you because this is stressful like you hold your breath when you paint your nails because you're like girl am i gonna mess up am i gonna have to start all over or pull out the the wipes and stuff like no thank you like look at that color oh my god i did do two coats of nail polish just so you guys know i did not show you because you guys i'm just gonna tell you anyway <laughs> so i'm taking the beetles foil gel and I am just gonna go ahead and cure that for about 45 seconds. Do not fight me, you guys. I tried to film as many clips as possible, but I kept being out of frame. I'm so sorry. Like, when one, first and foremost, I was working on my right hand, and if you guys do not know, I am right-handed, so I kind of have to keep things close to my chest in order to see them, and I just kept getting out of focus, and I'm so sorry, like, you guys can see what I'm doing. You just want to go ahead and press your design into your um, into the glue and just really make sure that you get it really well. But yeah, it's such a simple task. I really like the Beatles nail glue. I'm trying to kind of learn how to do it better because I don't get it perfectly. So yeah, because on their website, on the Amazon site, it says that you should cure it for one to two minutes. And honestly, I tried that and I feel like it's not super sticky and it kind of bubbles a little bit. So maybe it was just me. I don't know, but I'm going to keep playing around with it because I really do enjoy these nail foils. They are really cool. Okay, so once I have foiled all my nails, I'm gonna go ahead and encapsulate those with my IBD Clear Builder Gel. You wanna make sure that you encapsulate your foils because top coat is not enough. I repeat, if you only use top coat, it will not be enough because your designs will still somehow end up lifting off your nails and peeling off. Like the first time I ever used foil, I did not encapsulate them and I was so sad that my design did not hold up because my foils were like fading off. So definitely make sure even if you just use poly gel or you use a builder gel or acrylic something, just you want to make sure you really encapsulate those foils. This also just adds strength and thickness to these nails so that they are not so bendy like these almond ones weren't too bad, but the um, coffin ones that I have from Econ Couture, the colored ones, those are bendy, but the clear ones are not. So I don't know if it's because of the color or what, but yeah, so that was after the nails are all filed after I filed on that builder gel. And I liked how it looked matte. So I am taking my Beatles matte gel top coat and I'm just gonna paint a layer of that on. And you guys, I, I'm sorry that I did not do any kind of nail jewels or rhinestones or anything on this set. I kind of just felt like it didn't need it. I wanted the foils to speak for themselves. But if that is more your style, definitely throw on some like gold jewels or maybe on some like striping tape or something. I think that would look really cool. I almost went back and did it, but I ended up filming a different set of nails that's also coming up this week. So you guys will see what I chose to do instead. And that is with the matte top coat on. I absolutely loved how like velvety and soft these were. It looks so good. And since my cuticle oil is running low, I will be filming that very, very soon as well because it's so easy and you guys can start making your own. You don't have to keep buying uh, cuticle oil. So I'm gonna rub that in. And yes, this is the finished nail product. I hope you guys like these almond nails on me. This was my first time trying them out and it's different, but I love them. So thank you so, so much for watching you guys. Definitely don't forget to subscribe and comment down below and I'll see you in my next video.